नमस्कार मित्रों टुडे वी आर चेकिंग आउट समथिंग रियली इंटरेस्टिंग द जीमा ब्लेड अ कॉम्पैक्ट सिंगल बोर्ड सर्वर मेड बाय आइस वेल टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट दिस बोर्ड एक्चुअली इज व्हाट कम्स इन द बॉक्स एंड हाउ यू कैन यूज इट टू बिल्ड योर ओन होम और ऑफिस सर्वर नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द अनबॉक्सिंग Inside the box the first thing we get is a letter from founder of Icewell followed by a user manual and of course the Zima blade board itself we also get a USB C cable a SATA cable and some stickers that's it that's all we get in the main box now to fully utilize this board as a NAS or personal server Icewell also send some extra accessories i also received a 2 bay hdd rack tray to hold my storage devices So these are all the parts I received. Now let's take a closer look at the Zima Blade itself. Zima Blade comes in two variants, the Zima Blade 3760 and the Zima Blade 7700. I received the Zima Blade 7700 which is the higher end version. This board is powered by an Intel Celeron E3950 quad core CPU paired with Intel HD graphics. It supports up to 16 GB of LPDDR3 RAM and has a built-in 32 GB eMMC storage. You can check out the full specs from the link in the description. In terms of ports we get two SATA 6GB per second ports a PCIe 2.0 slot a mini display port 1.2 a gigabit ethernet port a USB 3.0 port and a USB C port for power so yes you can even connect a monitor and install an operating system like windows or linux if you want to the overall build quality is solid it's constructed from high quality metal and plastic with a neat compact design and it feels quite premium Now what you can actually do with this board well the Zima blade can be used in multiple ways as a personal cloud media server DIY project board retro gaming console or even as a learning platform for server management it's compact quiet and power efficient making it perfect for home and small office setups all right now let's build our own home or office server using the Zima blade 7700 First as you can see the Zima blade doesn't come with pre-installed RAM so let's install this 16 GB LPDDR3 RAM module into the board Okay the RAM installation is done now we need a storage device you can directly connect an HDD or SATA SSD to its SATA ports but i am going to use an NVMe SSD for that we will use this PCIe to NVMe SSD adapter and of course an NVMe M.2 SSD let's install the SSD on the adapter and connect it to the Zima blade now connect the power cable and ethernet cable The Zima Blade comes with a pre-installed operating system, Casa OS. To set it up, we will need a laptop or desktop connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Open your browser and go to casaos.local. If it's your first time, you will have to set up a login ID and password. Otherwise, just log in with your credentials. And here we have the Casa OS dashboard. It shows the CPU and RAM usage. network status and storage devices as you can see here our 500 gb nvme ssd is detected casa os also has its own app store so you can install different apps depending on your needs like next cloud plex or home assistant directly from here but right now we don't need any apps let's focus on creating our storage go to storage manager here you will see the built in 32 gb emmc storage but our ssd is not part of the storage pool yet To fix that, click Create Storage. Select your NVMe SSD and click Format and Create. Note that this will erase all data on the drive, so make sure to backup anything important. All right, our new storage has been created. Next, we will create a shared folder. Go to File Manager, open Storage One, and create a new folder. You can name it whatever you like. Once created, right-click on it and select Share. A window will pop up showing the network address of your shared folder. Since I am using Windows, I will copy the first address. Now open file explorer on your PC right click on this PC and select add a network location paste a copied address give it a name and we are done our home or office server is ready now you can easily store manage and access your files from any computer connected to the same wifi network and the best part you can also install windows or linux on this board if you want to turn it into a mini pc or media center So overall the Zima Blade 7700 is a powerful and compact board that can handle a variety of applications from personal cloud storage to media streaming and DIY server projects. I really like this board. It's small, capable and very versatile. If you want to know more about it, check out the first link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one.